Jane Malashak famously gave the nation a two-fingered salute after her first jab. Today, she explained the mix-up. You never knew what anything about God. Hey, Jane. As she was reunited with the Prime Minister. You've kept the date. Yes. Oh, yeah. Didn't want to miss it. Fantastic. For their booster shots. We're here to roll up our, our arms. <laughs> and make sure we get this done and keep Australia safe. Scott Morrison keen to encourage but not compel vaccination. The PM wants to uh, claim credit at times uh, for vaccination rates but oppose all the measures that have been in place to lift those vaccination rates. Labor leader Anthony Albanese seeing an inconsistency in the Prime Minister appearing to criticise some states for vaccine mandates. We're not in favour of mandatory vaccines imposed by the government. That was the PM yesterday. Today? Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I am the uh, Prime Minister that actually recommended that should, we should introduce mandatory vaccines for aged care workers. The Victorian Premier, who's received death threats from anti-vaxxers and radicals who oppose new pandemic powers, says Scott Morrison had failed to unequivocally condemn protesters wielding nooses and gallows. I'm not about chasing through doublespeak the votes of extremists or their preferences. I will not do that. If mm. others choose to do that, well then that's on them. I completely and totally and continue to denunciate any violence, any threat, any intimidation and any suggestion that I have not done that is completely false. The Prime Minister is saying the Victorian protests weren't limited to anti-vaxxers or those who engaged in threats and intimidation. I have sympathy for Australians who've had a gut full of governments telling them what to do over the last two years. They're sending all sorts of mixed messages and that's dangerous, that's dangerous. Do we, do, what do we want to see, somebody actually getting hurt? That's not leadership. Scott Morrison's contending with a vocal fringe in the Liberal Party fiercely against vaccine mandates, a couple of them threatening to derail his legislative agenda in the final fortnight of Parliament for the year. In attempting to keep them on side, the Prime Minister must ensure he doesn't inflame extremists outside his party. Andrew Prabhan, ABC News, Canberra.